Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be creating a 3D animation of our Instagram. It's sort of like a show reel thingy. So um, first I will be showing you what we are going to make. I've already made something like this before. So we're gonna play this animation. As you can see, the thing is the pictures kind of pop up in 3D space. And there's some cool sky replacements on it as well. Some cool light flickering. And then finally, there's your Instagram link. So um, that's what we're going to be creating. We can close this now. Um, this is my Instagram page. I've already loaded it up on my PC. As you can see, there are these kind of highlights, but I don't want these on my showreel. So we're going to into the HTML thingy, select the right div class, there we go, and delete it. Good to go. What we want to do right now is hit Ctrl P. So we can save it as a PDF, PDF. I've already set the scale right because normally this is at 100. As you can see, and some of my artwork gets cut off and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna set it to 76 again. Save it. I've already saved it once, but there we go. We're gonna upload on PDF to png.com. Upload this. It's gonna upload for a second. It doesn't work. I've renamed my file and then should work immediately so uh, i just renamed this to thingy and for some reason it does work right now so i advise you to do that too if it doesn't work just rename it um and let's hit download we can close this and here we go here is my png stuff so this should be the first page first page let it load for a second there we go. As you can see, this is perfectly my first page of my Instagram. So we can close this as well. We're gonna go to File, New, New Project, Composition, New Composition. We're gonna call this Composition Main because this, this is going to be our main composition. There we go. We're going to drag in the first page. There we go. Uh, we are in our main composition right now. So we're gonna drag this into our main composition. As you can see, it's really big. Uh, we want to create a background so this isn't black. So we're gonna color pick so it matches color. Oh, it's already white, so it doesn't really matter. Drag this under there. So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to pre-compose this. Call it the Instagram page. Move all attributes to a new composition. Open this. And we want to hit Ctrl K, so we can edit the composition test settings. We're going to put this to like 5000 or something. So we have the entire thing on it. A little bit too big, maybe. 2500 or something should be good yeah there we go that's perfect so what we want to do right now is hit the rectangle tool select this and just select every single artwork so it will create a mask i'm gonna copy this hit n delete the mask of the next layer and just continue to do this for every single artwork piece so there's the layer Copy this, hit M, delete the mask, and do it again. Make sure you select the layer when you add a rectangle, otherwise you will just create a shape layer, which is useless for you. Um, so I'm gonna be doing this real quick, and I will see you later when I'm done. There we go, I've done it for everything. We're gonna copy it once more. There we go, and we're going to select this part because I want my uh, profile page to be animated as well. I'm gonna make sure it's like in the middle a little bit hit ctrl and hit shift so you can get an even circle there we go just place it a little in the middle perfect so right now i have this little plug in here move anchor points really handy i advise you to buy it as well it's really cheap it's really handy um so i'm gonna select all these layers and hit the middle thing so what it does it basically puts the anchor point of the layer um in the middle of each selected mask so I don't have to change it manually. Um, so what we are going to do right now is drag this up a little, toggle switch modes, put everything into 3D. Um, gonna put this here, delete the mask, we're gonna fix that later. So uh, as you can see, we have the main page right now without any masks, but of course this is going to be animated above it, so we want this to be like even. So we're gonna add a little circle over this in the same color doesn't have to be precisely we can just drag that on top of that um, 
same for the artwork stuff there we go oh shit see now i selected the layer and it makes a mask pop right now i want to just have a thingy oh by the way we can just cover the little text up there as well close this put it down there is there some text still above here yes there is so i'm gonna add one more rectangle to cover this up doesn't have to be precise as i said um so right now we have an empty page and we have all of our artwork thingies separately collected um so what i want to do right now make sure the 3d is thing is on so we can animate it in 3d um we have this one this one we're gonna start with this and go from the right to left all the way up so we're gonna drag this down here drag this down here to order it up that should be good all right um close this we're gonna hit r for rotation and we want it to rotate this way so we're gonna hit minus 90 and we also oh no wait 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 I'm making a mistake a little um let's just sort of do this to 45 and hit this to like um, what is it minus 90 as well so place keyframes I'm gonna hit shift s so we can pop up the skill too i'm gonna go to like one second place another keyframe make sure you set these to zero make sure you set this to zero as well so right now we've animated a little pop up of the picture as you can see but it still looks really blunt so we're gonna select all of these hit f9 so we can easy ease it and select all the keyframes and drag the right marker all the way to the left so we can get some smooth animation going on there as you can see that looks really smooth already um, we're gonna hit this thing as well so we can turn on motion blur uh, turn it on for all of these animated layers Hit Ctrl K, make sure that this is shutter angle is uh, set to 360. If you want like twice as much motion blur, make sure you set to 720. Um, but I advise you just keep it cool and set it to 360. So as you can see, we've got a little animation going on here. I'm gonna hit U to copy all of these thingies. We're gonna hit Ctrl and right arrow five times. So we are going to copy the keyframes paste it on the next layer we can just turn all of these on and each time we're gonna hit five frames further and paste it so there we go right now we've done it for everything so if we just play this it's zero to oh shit my fault my fault there we go, you can see that separately they all pop off. My quality is really high, I think. Yeah, this is for like a third. Should be rendering much faster, there we go. As you can see, that looks really smooth. The 3D stuff is going on as well, it looks really good. Nice. So, we've done that right now. Uh, we're done with this composition, we just wanted to animate this. We're good to go, we can close this right now. Close this. Um, as you can see, we just have the empty page right here. So I want to scale this down a little bit to like 70. We're going to hit B for any uh, position and drag it like a little up so we can first see the bottom of the thing. So like 210, because I'm a precise idiot. Set it to like six seconds or something. Something now maybe for just the animation of the picture is not that long. And scroll all the way down. So like this fine. Let's set it to 750 we can hit f9 so it's a little smoother but i don't want anything like i don't want any special speeds in the beginning i just wanted to evenly go out but it has to be smooth so we're gonna just hit f9 as you can see that's what we have right now by the way let's just do edit this a little bit no, it doesn't look good uh it's gotta be faster so like so animations are already done at like Two seconds, I think. So we're gonna drag this to here. Yeah, we're gonna put this a little bit 
up more so it's smoother there we go mess this up again set it back to 250 that's fine that's fine oh shit i keep hitting ctrl s it's automatic um right now turn on the 3d thing again we're gonna hit the y rotation there we go what we want is to like smoothly turn sides during the animation so we're gonna set it like 20 oh shit 25 or something place a keyframe you can hit this to go to the next keyframe i set this to like minus 25 let's preview this yeah it looks good but still a little too fast so what we are going to do is like open all of this up hit you we can we can just delete all of these keyframes because i think it's going too fast now uh, we're gonna copy these again now, if you want to go uh, 10 frames further hit ctrl shift and then go uh, hit the arrow to the right so we're gonna paste this right now there we go so it will be a little bit longer so the animation will look smoother as well we've animated everything so it's done at like four seconds that's perfect so we're gonna set this to like five seconds right now just drag these keyframes all the way over here and we're gonna okay that's too high it's just trial and error with like every motion design i do it's always just a little bit of trial and error trial and error i never know exactly what i do in the beginning as you can see I've made a little mistake here. I'm pretty sure I can see like a little black edge on this one. Get a couple of keyframes to the right. Nah, it looks fine. It's just a preview, it looks really blunt. Um, no, it's still too high. So let's set it to like 200 or something. Okay, I'm gonna make this faster again. Just messing around a bit with the settings still too high let's it's like 400 wait a second something's not right oh shit i just noticed i keep changing the the, the z-axis my fault my fault oh let's just do like 200 no. it's too much under 50. that's fine We set this to like 35 even. Minus 35. So it's really extreme. And maybe scale it up a little bit more. There we go. That's nice. Uh, so we want to create some text as well. Okay. Instagram. Instagram.com slash fire some FX. Gonna use No, you know what? We're gonna use Ophelia or something. Wait, I'm not sure what uh, what font I used for this. It, yeah, I think this is it. Uh, semi bold looks fine. Set this to like a hundred. Move anchor point in the middle, align to the middle as well. Maybe make it a little bit bigger, like 125. Yeah, that looks good. And we want to set it in, in the beginning. Oh no, wait, 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 never mind. Just to like. Make sure it's on the end keyframe and then at that moment parent it because that will move with it. We gotta match the rotation first as well. So let's set this to like. Oh, wrong rotation. Minus 35 as well, so it really matches. Or zero. Yeah, oh wait, wait, yeah, that's it. My fault, my fault. I keep messing up this stuff, I'm sorry. And we want to set this position lower because we want the text to be right here. Um, so we're gonna set this to like 3500 or something. Where is this at? Drag this all the way to the top again. Let's hit zero to preview it. There we go. Um, wait a second, I'm gonna do something different. We're gonna hit this, put it to 35, so it cancels out the 
3D animation and we want this to set it in the middle so we're gonna put on some guidelines so we can put this in the middle exactly there we go 1480 turn off the guidelines again we're gonna add another solid make it white and just in the last second we want to like turn this to white so it smoothly switches over to the text all right that's fine that's fine maybe make this a little bit longer there we go put this like 15 seconds further or something oh shit control us again there we go that's looking nice so as final effect as you can see we've almost finished the animation as final effect we had some sky replacement stuff so i'm gonna hit ctrl i uh, where's my edit back stuff love cover art i have some sky replacement stuff in here um we're gonna open this one up drag it up there Just hit screen make sure it's like all the way it's big enough so as you can see we have this sky replacement thing we gotta make sure it fills full screen let's set it to like 400 or something and then at like 15 frames i'm gonna cut it off open some other stuff which, which one looks good we've got a little gif going on here make sure that matches the entire thing as well fuck that watermark's not even visible set this to screen as well Take it a little bit down and we're gonna animate the opacity as well set this to zero i'm sorry if i'm going too bit fast but there we go you already saw some nice lighting effects i'm gonna open more shooting stars maybe looking good looking good put this at like here then set it to screen as well just set everything to screen screen is always a good um screen is always a great uh great blending mode for stuff like this just some color lighting always looks good the screen never disappoints me make sure you up the size so it matches everything and let's set this to screen there we go you, you saw some cool lighting in the back in here make sure it discovers the entire screen as well animate this so it doesn't just snap on So basically, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed what we made here. I hope you learned some stuff from it. Be sure to tweet me your responses or your uh, creations with this method. Method. I really want to see some of your stuff. I really hope you learned something from it. I'm sorry if I'm still like a bit rusty with explaining and shit. And if I'm going a bit too fast sometimes, it's just, I'm not great at this stuff. I'm just. I don't know, I'll, I'll get better over time, I guess. And uh, I still want to do stuff like too perfect at once. Maybe I wanna, I'm gonna write some script for a video. So like my English is perfect as well because sometimes, sometimes I'm really struggling with like explaining what I want to say. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all of that stuff. So uh, see you later. Bye, everyone.